YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tapes here. Today we're gonna be breaking down how to do the floating rock effect used in Yeet's Get Busy music video. If you guys are looking for a quick and easy way to go step up your visuals, link below is my website where you guys can find all of my editing packs. But without further ado, let's hop right into this tutorial. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go over to your 3D tracker and you wanna track the camera. All right, as you can see in the top left, the camera tracker is initializing. All right, now once the camera tracker is done tracking, you wanna scrub through the video. And while you're doing that, you wanna pay attention to points that don't disappear so as you can see on the left side here points are disappearing as the camera moves so i have my eye on this blue one here i'm going to right click and you want to create null and camera once you guys have your track point selected you want to go and right click on this area here hit new create a new solid we're going to call this rocks and then hit okay now to do the 3d effect you need element 3d i highly recommend this program if you guys don't have it already you want to go into scene setup and you want to import the rock i'll have it linked below on my website for free once you have the rock downloaded you can either import it through here but i have it saved in my documents so i'm going to go down to the rock right here click on it and then make sure you click use auto normals and then hit okay once you have the rock in there you can click and drag to rotate it and then you can also hold space to change the perspective all right now first things first you want to drop down click on this texture you want to go over to diffuse click this right here and then you want to load the texture so you want to go into the file where you saved it open that there open this and then it's this one here going to double click on that hit okay and then hit okay as you can see the texture has been applied to the rock and then we are going to hit okay once the rock is in the scene you guys can see it is tracked to the footage, but there's only one rock. So we're going to fix this by going into our group one and we're just going to open up the particle replicator and the particle look. We want to go over to the particle count and we're going to turn the particle count up. All right. And then you're going to go ahead and open replicator effects. You're going to open scatter. And then the ones you want to focus on are scatter X and scatter Y. You're just going to drag this. This is going to drag them from side to side. And then scatter Y is going to drag them apart from the top. So keep on playing with that until you get the amount you like. All right. If you get some that are overlapping on each other, like the bottom there you can just ignore them i'm going to spread these out a lot more and move them over then i'm going to go and increase the particle size you want to go down to multi object enable the multi object and then you want to focus on rotation random so what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe it at the very beginning there we're going to drag it to something random like that and then we're going to go to the very end of the clip and then we're going to drag it so what this is doing is it's going to be rotating the rocks during the whole thing the next thing is you want to keyframe the position so we're going to go to the very beginning of the clip timer on there bring these rocks down all right so make sure you have that key from there we're going to go to the very end and we are going to bring them up and then i'll put that through for you guys all right so the next step you guys want to do we're going to click Control d on the rocks and then what we're going to do is we are going to unclick the timer on that and then we are going to click on the position and drag it backwards by holding control. So what this does is we are going to be sending the rocks into the background, all right? And then we are going to play with the scatter a lot more. All right, looks good. So I'm gonna hit the keyframe on the very beginning there, and then we're gonna go to the very end and bring them up. And we'll play that through for you guys. All right, now the most important step is to rotoscope Yeet so he's separated from the background so we can put the rocks behind him. I have a full tutorial on rotoscoping. If you guys do not know how to rotoscope, I recommend you guys go watch the tutorial because I'm just gonna speed this part up for the sake of the video. Once you're done rotoscoping, I recommend changing the feather to about 20. And now once that's set, I'll play the clip all the way through for you guys. All right, and that is it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoy tutorials just like this one and you want to see more advanced in-depth tutorials on my music videos and you want to get a bunch of other exclusive content, make sure you go check out my brand new Patreon I just launched today. There will be a link to that below in the description. I highly recommend you guys just go check it out just to see the tiers and all the benefits. You guys can get this project file and all the other project files just by signing up for the second tier. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to watch more of my content, I highly recommend checking out this 3D music video text tutorial. It is super unique and it will definitely make your visuals stand out. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.